What is up, Facebook? I've got a very tactical video for you today with some backwards hat energy. it's Monday and Mondays are busy um so I you know this is my workout clothes I worked out in this and anyway so <clears throat> I titled this intuitive eating versus informative eating and kind of how they go hand in hand how you kind of need one to have the other uh, in my opinion and all that stuff right um, and this came up because so I have clients all the time that they, um, because in our program we have you track your food, generally, in some way, shape, or form, okay? At some point during the program, you will track your food. You will track your calories, or you will be aware of what portions you are eating, um, depending on how you want to go about it. And the reason that we do that is not to restrict your diet, not to limit your diet, not to you know, tell you that you have a calorie goal and if you go over and guilt you into because you didn't hit your goals or whatever. It's more to just inform you about food in general, okay? Because a lot of people don't realize what they eat on a day-to-day -day basis until they actually start to track their food, okay? And I think anybody who has tracked their food can say with certainty that that is true, okay? I know personally, before I started tracking my food, um, there were a lot of things that I thought that are no longer true, <laughs> right? Uh, like that peanut butter was a good protein source. It is not. It's a very excellent fat source, though. Um, or like I didn't realize how how many carbs I was consuming every day, right? And how many more I need to consume every day. Or I didn't realize how few, like I was consuming so little protein when I first started, like how much it actually matters to consume the amount of protein. Like it, it's very beneficial for you to track your food. Okay. Um, because if you know enough about food, which, so I have been tracking my food now consistently since 2018. Okay. Three years now on and off. I think the only time that I wasn't consistently tracking was when I was pregnant with Wrigley. So, you know, and that is probably only half of that time. So there were four and a half months in there where I wasn't tracking consistently. So I've been tracking my food consistently for three years, okay? I now know enough about food that I can pretty much, I could intuitively eat and be, and stay on track, okay? But... I would argue that it is not intuitive eating, it's actually informed or informative eating because I have the information that I have learned over the last three years, right? It's like I have a college degree in tracking food, right? So before you say, well, because like there's books on intuitive eating, it, I honestly, I'm a firm believer of it, especially if you're someone who's had a restricted diet in the past, like people who are... Um, or if you have like, like people with eating disorders and people who have had, you know, bad experiences with restrictive diets, I think intuitive eating is great, but it's more mindset than food. Okay. Like if you went and got, I was just talking to Kira, my coach that helped me about this. Um, and she said, if you were to go buy the intuitive eating book, there's nine chapters, eight of them are mindset and one of them is food because it's all mindset. Because if you think about if I intuitively ate and I had a bad weekend, I would intuitively eat an entire pizza, a tub of ice cream, and, you know, whatever. Which, that's not healthy. We all know that. But my intuition said, right? Like, you could argue that. Not that you would, but some people would. Like, let's be real, right? And so I think a lot of the intuition has to come from information that you've gained and learned, right? So, like, think of a mother's intuition, okay? There are, I would argue, now I have not read a mother book, I'll be real, 
but I've watched a lot of mothers in my life and how they have mothered. I had a wonderful mother. I had a stepmother. I have a lot of aunts that I have watched mother. I have two living grandparents that I watched mother and grandmother, right? And so I took from all of those experiences and now I intuitively mother my kids. But is it really intuition or is it information that I've stored, collected, and gathered, and then I've made decisions based on all of that? Right? So before you say, like, I'm just going to intuitively eat, I want you to ask yourself, how much information do you actually have regarding food? If it's just involving a Google search or seven, and you realize and you think that carbs are bad, or you think that a salad a day is the answer, or you think that ice cream should never be on the menu, and then, do you know what I mean? Then stop. You won't, you're not going to succeed. But if you've had someone help you over the course of time, and you have all this information stored in your brain about what food should look like, what a typical day should look like, with certainty, then I would argue then yeah, you can have intuitive eating. You could totally intuitively eat. But until you have the information, I don't believe that intuition can serve you at the same degree, right? There's different ways that you... Now, that being said, there's different ways to track your food. There's different ways to monitor what you're putting in your body. But it all comes down to mindset, even if you are tracking. Which is something most people forget to talk about. And what is really funny is it's probably what I as a coach talk about the most yes I'll tell you what to eat but it all comes down to what's up here and I've said that multiple times okay so if you are struggling if you feel like I just want to intuitively eat that's great but make sure you have enough information to back up your intuition okay and if you don't have the right information or you're not sure what the information should even be let me know I'd be happy to help. Me and Kira and Kara, that's the, those are my team members' names. We would love to help get you on track, get you feeling better, um, and actually teach you how to eat real food, not just, you know, all the stuff you think you should eat and stay on track, lose weight, feel amazing, all of the stuff, okay? We've helped hundreds of people do it. It's second nature to us at this point. But it's because we've had all the information and the time to figure it out. So shoot us a message. Let's get you started. Um, and yeah, hopefully this was valuable.